Hello. I'm Andrea Petrut. I am Lee, I'm founder and leader of Healing, Living with a Healing Heart. And I'm helping multi-passionate women who feel stuck or disconnected from themselves and the, those that they love to be in alignment, clarity, sovereignty, and flow, and lead with heart and feel connected in all their relationships. Today, let's talk about debunking the myth of fake it till you make it. So, as a child, a mother, wife, woman, and in all the roles of my life, this idea of fake it till you make it appeared in different ways. I'm telling you, I tried it. I pretended to be a very powerful girl, especially since my mom died in 1992, so since I was 11 years old. And I'm telling you, it worked, and in the same time, it hurt. It worked because people thought I was powerful, but it hurt because people didn't know I need help and didn't know that I needed a lot of support throughout my life. And I put that shield on and I did not ask for help. So it was a form of self-sabotage. Now, Many uh, talk about, maybe you have also watched Amy Cuddy's video, Your Body Language May Shape Who You Are, which is on uh, TEDx. I watched that talk and I tried, but it didn't work for me. The only way I found that the body would support me was when Virgil Putano came one day to my house and he straightened my back. So I was walking like this, head down, my uh, spine was bent. And the moment he straightened up my spine, my pose was different and I could be in it for a long time. That's what changed my self-confidence, the way I saw life. And it stayed with me. It wasn't temporary. As a woman, fake what? Fake it till you make it. Fake what? What do we need to fake? Vulnerability? What's wrong with being vulnerable? Vulnerability has its power. The thing with being vulnerable is discovering what's the power, what's the empowering in being vulnerable and in our vulnerability. I keep hearing people like Lori Smith, uh, Sean Tyler, um, Alina Mihai. So, Lori Smith and Sean Tyler are speakers, leaders, entrepreneurs, and they are coaches. Alina Mihai is a brand coach. All these people talk about be authentic, be you. So, what is wrong with being you in your vulnerability, in your femininity, in your masculinity, with your tears? with your pain, with everything you are. What's wrong with that? Fake it till you make it. As a mother, if you fake it, your kids are going to perceive that you are only strong or only powerful and you have no weaknesses. And when you show that something is wrong with you, when you go down, when you fall, they you might be in trouble, <laughs> meaning they will not accept you for who you are they'll say that's not my mother they will disrespect you they will not support you it happened to many parents i've seen it with parents of special needs who always try to be their best be on top show that they are powerful and they fall down they get to suicide and their kids become teenagers and they exploit their parents and their parents go even deeper in toxic relationships. So fake it till you make it, so what? So you get into a toxic relationship with yourself, toxic relationship with your kids, toxic relationship with your co colleagues, coworkers, clients, really? 
And as a leader, fake it till you make it. How does that work? Can you tell me? Because it doesn't work for me. When I faked that I was, no, I knew what I was doing as an entrepreneur, I got screwed because I didn't know. I did not have the backbone. I did not have the integrity or I simply did not have the knowledge. That's stupid. Fake it till you make it. Really? That's, I don't see it as a smart way. I say, be you, whoever you are in the moment. I say, accept yourself because there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing to fix. There's nothing to fake. On the contrary, we will all appreciate. And if we don't appreciate, then it's our problem because we each have our own lens. Being you means accept yourself for who you are with the weaknesses and the strengths, with the moments where you need to cry and the moments where you're happy, with the moments where you feel you're a good mother or a good student or a good parent or a good whatever, and the moments where you feel you suck at it. And that's okay. There is no uh, standard for being perfect and this, 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 this. It's just your standard. And it's what everybody sees on the outside, but who we should not care about what they think. We should care about our consciousness, how we feel about ourselves. What does bring you peace? Peace of mind, peace of heart. What does bring you fulfillment? What does make you live life to the fullest? What does make you feel full? What does make you love life, love living, love yourself, love being? That is make it and you don't need to fake it. So for me, fake it till you make it is something I don't live by. I do not encourage because that's not empowerment. And I'm here to co-empower people. I'm here to co-empower those who think they need to do more. You don't. You just need to find your gifts and use them. We need you to be you. And um, in a week, me and Marjorie Dietrich, we have a workshop two hours each day where you connect with your source of integrity and empowerment. You become who you are. You don't need to fake anything. You connect with your authenticity. This is a heart imagery workshop, cleaning your past and self-renewal. It's first in a series of workshops. So for five days each day, you go back to your heart, you go back to the source and you receive day by day. If you don't get into the first day, you receive, day by day, you get into the habit, habit of having peace of mind and of being in your heart and in imbuing in yourself immersing yourself in, in what you have inside, what is already yours, what is already you. So you can be you, empowered, connected, highly guided, and find alignment flow and all you need in your life, whether it's related to your health, whether it's related to relationships or anything. You find the answers within, you receive the healing that you need, and you clear out the clutter so your mind, your, your being can be aligned and centered. So you end this year in a very beautiful way. If you want to know more, go to the link andreaputu.ca slash heart imagery DEC 2021. Be you, be sovereign, nothing to fake, be authentic. I love you.